Hey guys, what's up? Joseph, another random video. All right, so this is, as much as I love Premiere Pro and all that shit to work with, every now and then there's something fucking stupid that I come across that makes me wonder why, you know, it's just, why? And one of those things that makes me wonder why is, why the fuck can I have, like, the wire selection when I have something selected inside my timeline, right? Now, the wire selection, say if I double click on this, uh, it appears here, but if I want to move this character in the program uh, window, it won't do it, right? If I double click, you know, it just opens up here, but nothing opens up here. If I double click on the program window, pretty much what's selecting is the top layer here in my timeline, which is like the watermark for Paul, right? So basically, either you can like, say like lock these layers, then you can double click on the image that you want. And then like you get like these wireframes, right? That way you're able to like uh, rotate easier and do the scaling and all that shit, right? But again, the problem is, you know, what if you have like uh, an image on top of this image, right? Say if you want to select the top one, yeah, there's no problem. You can move this shit around. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, part of my job is to troll Paul, which I come up with this shit every now and then. But the point is, say if like this, uh, you have images that are on top of each other, right? And you want to select the bottom one and you just can't, right? You know, unless you get like the right angle or some shit, you know, you just select whatever's on top, you know, and it's stupid as fuck. So... Messing around, I guess, like, the simplest solution I figured out is basically you select the clip that you want, then you go here in the effects area, and you can either click motion, the word, or any one of these position, scale, rotation, anchor points, or anti-flag. It doesn't matter. You can click one of these, and it'll select the image that you want in the wireframe mode. That way, it's a lot easier to select, right? So, yeah, it doesn't matter. Position, there you go. I try to figure out a way to like select these in a simple manner using a shortcut or something, but it just, I cannot do it. But so far, this is like the only way that I can figure out be easier. So if you have like multiple clips, you know, you know just all stacked on top of each other and you want to select this specific one on the bottom. See how it selects the top one here if you try to double click. But now if you select this one and just click on any one of these fuckers, it selects the, the wireframe mode and like, yeah, it just, it, it's a lot easier to like you know, do your animation with this shit. When you do like the wireframe, I see you did it again. Select motion, move it over. See, see, you get the keyframes. Yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's like I feel like it should be common sense. You know, I have a command where I can just click this and I'll you know open up the wireframe. Well, that way I can just you know move this however I want. So I don't know. Just like a random tip video. So hopefully that helps. Uh, that's all I got for you. Take care and peace.